Hi, we're going to do a quick little workout that will bust your gut just in time for Thanksgiving. And today I brought out um, a set of weights and also a mat and I'm bringing my BOSU into play today. If you're not familiar with the BOSU or you don't have one, that's fine. Everything I do on the BOSU you can do on the floor. I'm just going to use it because some people have them and just don't really know what to do with them or maybe you've seen them at your gym and you're not sure what exactly you can do with them. And um, as I've explained in the blog post, um, what it is and a couple of ways it's it's beneficial or you know some ways you can add it to your workout. I'll just kind of demonstrate a few of those as we go along. But again, modify at your own pace. I'm going to time the interval so that you can work at your own level and your own pace. And everything again I, I do on the bow suit can be done on the floor. So here we go. All right. So we're starting with burpee busters. So if you've got a bow suit. You're going to place your hands, you place the BOSU flat down, uh, face down. You're going to grab the BOSU. You're going to jump down, out, in, and lift it up like this. Down, out, in, up. Now, if you don't have a BOSU, you're just going to burpee, or you can just simply squat and touch the floor like this. Make sure you're sitting back in your heels. Here we go. What you can't see, but you may be able to hear, is a little monkey next to me punching the air. He's doing his own workout prefers to be off camera today for whatever reason. Okay, you're going to stay down and you're going to pull your knees across as fast as you can. You can do this modified by placing your hands on the edge of a chair or a couch or a step. Or you can stand and jog in place. Protect your back by pulling in your core. Keep going. Our next exercise is again the burpee, but this time you're going to add a kick. So if you don't have the BOSU, you're just going to kick. Or you can squat and kick if you're modifying. If you have the BOSU, you're going to still lift it up. That's 10 seconds of rest you had there if you needed it. We're doing 30 second intervals today just to keep us moving because it's a short burst workout. Jump out. This time you're going to bring your knees to the elbow and you can do it as quickly or as slowly as you need to. Again, you can modify by standing up and doing marches or high knee jogs, or you can place your hands on an elevated surface like a step or a couch or a chair. Our next post do going to have, or our next burpee, excuse me, is going to have a squat jump. So if you're not jumping at all, you can go into squat pulses. So we're going to come up, jump, down, up. If you're not jumping, you can pulse, pulse. If you're not doing the burpee, you can do squat pulses. <laughs> You can also lift this thing up over your head. I just don't have ceiling space to do that. Okay, and our last one is a straight mountain climber where you pull the knees directly underneath you. Again, you can go at your own pace. You can modify by placing your hands on the elevated surface or you can have a knee torture jug. Be careful. Huh? Don't touch it, honey. Come here. That's you. I, I, it is me, but don't touch the camera because if you move it, they might just only get to see my tush or something. Nobody wants that. Honey, don't touch it. 
fresh one. Okay, don't touch it, honey. Come here. And come on up. Grab your weight. If you have a glow suit, you can flip it over and stand on it. We're going to create some honey. Because you're creating some instability. Um, if you want to stand on the floor, that's fine. You don't have a glow suit. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. And I can turn my head this way. You're going to bounce it in a row. You're going to put your palm Archer, please stop. And you're going to squeeze just like this. Okay? See, this is proof. You can really take a few minutes, even if you have wild children running around and exercise. It may not be stress free, but it's something. Now, you want to pull your belly in and really focus on keeping the stress out of your neck, especially if you're on something like this. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Now, if you are in a BOSU, you're going to step off. If you're not, you're just going to step back, and you're going to keep your toe just behind you like this on the floor, and you're going to reach down, reaching that weight, and you're going to keep your legs straight, bend over into a deadlift. So, you want the to reach with that opposite arm and then the foot that's in front of you. Get down into your butt, push your weight into your heel. I'm just giving myself a little instability with this BOSU. And you're going to stay bent over here. You're going to turn your palm this way and you're going to rotate this way. Hi. Keep the stress out of your neck. Keep that butt burning. Bend that knee a little bit. If you're Stay going to do this. No, please put the pillow over there. You're, you're going to take me this. You're going to come down. Now, if you're on the floor, that's fine. You're just going to stay here. If you're on the BOSU, that's fine too. The key is to keep your front foot flat. And we're just pulsing right here. Hi, honey. So keep that weight of your body in your front heel. Okay, shake it out. Now, if you don't have a BOSU, you can just shuffle across your little space there. If you do, you're just going to kind of shuffle over top. Otherwise, you can do this exact same thing on the floor. And just shuffle, 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 reach, shuffle, 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 reach. Oh, I know how to shuffle that. Yep, you know how to shuffle, huh? You're a shuffling master. Grab your weights. We're going to go back to the row. So, if you're on a bow soup, you can bounce. If you're not, that's okay. Keep the stress out of your neck. Keep your head in neutral. You don't want to drop your, your, no, your nose too far down. You don't want to look at your knees. Set the floor in front of you. I'm going to take the other foot off this time. I'm going to face you this time. I'm going to go down and up. So I'm going to keep the legs pretty straight in the front and push through the heel. Yep. And 
we're going to stay bent over and you're going to pull that weight so the palm is towards or away from you and pull back. Mommy? Yes, honey. Sure. My elbow? Uh -huh. Yeah. It's going up on my shirt. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's one way to describe the exercise. A simple form. Your butt should be on fire a bit. Let's just build that fire and pulse. Make sure your front foot is flat. Almost there, almost there. And another way you can use the BOSU is place your feet on top of the BOSU and your hands off the BOSU here. And if you're just on the floor, that's fine. And you're just gonna tap, jump jack here. You can do these without the BOSU. You can jack in the air rather than um, face down on the floor. So just jumping jacks, whether you're doing it in a plank style right here, or standing up. Okay, if you don't have a bench at home, another way you can use your BOSU is to elevate your upper body to give you a little bit more range of motion. So we're going to go down on the floor. If you don't have a BOSU or a ball you could use or a bench, you're just going to lay on the floor. Head, neck, and shoulders should be placed on the BOSU if you have it. Okay. So we're going to start here. Your hips should can be elevated. We're going to start here with the fly. You're going to pulse, 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 and up. Okay? Pulsing is effective and it's very useful. One, two, three. When you don't have a lot of weight options and you're looking to add a little bit more weight or a little bit more to the exercise to challenge yourself, so that's why I add a lot of pulsing in because a lot of us don't have full on weight racks, you know, at our availability at all times. Now you're going to go right into full range of motion. Good. Now, I'm going to turn on my side. If you do not have a BOSU or a ball, you can go on, your, on the floor on the mat on your side. Okay? If you have a BOSU or ball, I'm going to be going, excuse me, bottom hand up and lifting this way. And if you're on the floor, you're simply going to stay down and lift your legs this way or a single leg. Okay? And you can put your head down if you need to. So you're on the BOSU, you want your 